What's up guys, this is Yuki Investor and I'm here with Ash, she's been doing well at in locals, coming top four in every week, so to do that profile. Here he is, Ash to get straight into it. Alright, well, I run start off with three five is bear, kind of mandatory. Um pops your gets rid of your monsters, tax through, gets tanky. Two gorilla, almost the same thing, gets rid of your back row, so um, gets rid of back row, runs into monsters and it's like detention really. We have Three more box, uh, Monster Reborn at three in this deck. Just one trick pony into like Tiger King or any other XYZ you may need. Two Dragon, almost like Wolf Bark, and if you, like, just go this 10 C turn one, you get a trap, and this is brilliant. So, um, and it's like a Monster Reborn as well, five first. Uh, two Bought, this guy's good, he's like your photo will look for five first, so you can just like they attack this. And you just get a bear out, and you can just like just go off on one. Two um, so caribou, almost similar. It's like uh, destroy this thing by card effects, and it's like dark soul for five, so you can just like get something in the end phase, and like yeah, you just get you get some monster presence. That's 14 monsters in the main. Spells, um, dark hole, it's like bear but on crack. Free duality. Consistency, like you can search for bear, search for anything you need. Yeah. It's like you don't do a lot of special summoning to in the early stages, so it's, it's pretty okay. Uh, Book of Moon, it's out for sanity, really, it's a good card. One Forbidden Lance. I would run two of this, but I'm poor. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, it's, it's really good, like to protect bear from like back row destruction, well, not back row, like mirror force, bottomless, etc. And in a tough match, you can just like. Weaken their monsters, so it's a nice card. Two space, back row hate. Two tanky. Yeah. This thing gets your bears, wolf barks, any level four or five fish you need. Um, pretty much every part of it. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much everything wolf bark, and it's like it's ammunition at the end of the day. So. Then we'll have two tensus. This is like double summon, but you're five fist, so it's like just helps you get into the XYZs quicker if you need them. And just builds a field presence and again ammunition. I run two Gaiaku. I really like this card. Um, you just play it, and then like the card to target. Unless they change something else outside, they can't respond, and it's just it's just brilliant. It just locks it, and you can just like summon bear or gorilla or anything, just run that. It's really it's a really nice card. Um, so that's the spells. How many have I got again? I think there's 14 there. So move on to traps. TT, bomb everything. Two mirror force. Um, surprise factor really. It's just like attack, boom. One compulse because like tricky cards, expert cards, just bye bye. One bottomless. Um, sucks, sucks with this being at one, but it, it's still needed, and I, I, I like it in this deck. Just get rid of like massive threats. Two D prison. I like this, but I want to get rid of Phoenix chains. But it, it is helpful. It's just like banish the targets. It's just if you don't have mirror force, you have this generally. And then one solemn morning. It's uh, like it's basically summon. No. Um, then we're fire formation wise, we have one ten ken. This is like uh, oh yeah. so you have one ten ken. This is like lance, but you get three hundred tap boost off it. You can only use it main phase one, which kind of sucks, but it's still helpful and you can get off dragon, tiger king, uh, even the level like Zinkro Kirin. And then to finish off, three ten zen. So this thing is just like. Flip it, give them power, and it works in damage steps so you can really catch people off guard. And I, just, I love this card in this deck. Two extra. Yeah, moving two extra. Um, let's see. You don't show these, I use the one I Yeah, uh, two Tiger King. Uh, Tends to bump this up to three, but it's generally good. It's like you just go into this, you get a tanky. If there's any problems, like say catastrophe, you know, just negate problem cards effects, get over them quick enough. Um, if, if it dies, as long as it's like the last thing to happen, you can like just have free fire formations. So it's like again, just using those fire formations wisely, it's, it's brilliant. Um, one card now. I've seen people run two, but I run one. It's all got space for really. Like um, it helps in against tricky matchups, like say Bujins, Dragons. Just Reset the grave, put it in the deck, and just watch people cry. Really, get your tankies back, which is brilliant. That's why I like Cardinal. 
Um, and then we've got staples like uh, Gem Up Hill, Big Stick, Mace Folk, Helpful Card. Don't bring it up that much often, unfortunately, but it's, it's really good. It's Book of Moon, basically. Um, one of my favourites in the game, Dire Dire Wolf. It's like, this combo is well with Caribou, I'm just getting rid of Spare Fodder, plus Target itself, it, it does the job that way. It's a really, really nice card. I run Black Ship. I put this in recently, and the only deck I've brought out against is Bugins, to be honest. But it, it, is, it is fairly good. And it, I like it because of the burn. It's, like, it's just like another way to burn for games, like, you know, there's Cowboy and then there's this. Speaking of Cowboy, here he is. We have him. Like, defense, burn. Really love this thing. Um, we have one Abyss Dweller, Mermels and Dragons, and Dolce's as well. Like, I, I played one kid with the Dolce's, and one of the one ways I shut him down one day was with this and Tiger King, and I had, it was all I could do really. But it won me the game, so I'm happy. We have Augusto Emerald, it's Cardinal but on the monsters. Um, we have Crazy Box. Everyone loves a bit of Crazy Box. <laughs> There's a re uh, another reason I run this up. If you negate its effect with Tiger King, it becomes a 3k stick which you can attack with. And I love that. Um, otherwise, like, as well as people size skill drain, just like, attack with that. Everyone's gone quiet now. We have Bling Bling Butterfly. <laughs> like, felt on Path of Opportunity. Um, goes, goes, goes for tricks as well, just like, flip them up, attack them, weaken them. I, I really do like this thing. Like, I I've always run it. And I just, I just love that card. One more XYZ, Lion Emperor. This is in case of Steven Dirge. I just cannot be bothered to decide it, and I really do like it in here. It's like, someone goes to Steven Dirge, just go into this, recover your monsters from the grave, and the five formations affect this guy as well, so it's like you can just sit on him, make him stronger. And yeah. And then I have one Crimson, uh, Crimson Blader. Um, against dragons, against mermails, any deck that goes beyond level four, really. So he's good, and he's a, he's a nice stick, 2-8. And then the other one I have is 5 formation, 5 S Kirin. You go into this guy, he's like Tiger King, you get um you get one 5 formation spell or trap. So it's really helpful. And it his effect as well, for every five well, every face of spell and trap. Actually every five formation. The opponent loses one hundred as well, so it's like you have like say Tenki, you've got two one on him and their monsters losing power as well, so it's really handy, really tricky, um after death. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe if you want. See you guys next time. Bye.